Hello humans, kapisanangan and welcome to this video, welcome to my channel, I hope you guys are doing well, I hope you guys are doing fine and watch me play the other worlds. Now I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch, I heard this one is ported to the Nintendo Switch and the reviews are kind of bad because they're saying that the graphics is, is freaking bad and there's a lot of lags and loading times but I heard it's been patched, I don't know because this is my first time playing it so I, I might not see the difference between it from when it released and when it's been patched so I'm going blind here I'm going blind so let's go Just the game must die there, you can barely see the level. I'm just going to go 50. I don't know what this one guys. Oh, maybe we can just go default. Alright. Uh, let's go into settings for a bit. Okay. Subtitles. Okay. So, new game. Just this mode if you enjoy the story more than combat, so the names have less health and do less damage. So when we play first PlayStation, understand that. Uh, supernova. Uh, let's go for normal. Cause this is the recommended for first time playing. So mm -hmm. tech size. Come to Helcyon. Is that how you pronounce it? Helcyon. Helcyon. The only colony on the edge of the frontier. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Helcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Ooh, top secret. Determination, hope to be left at the edge of colony. Is this game like fully voice or something? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it's just not working. Phineas Vernon Wellis, status fugitive wanted by Halcyon. Where is this camera from, man? There's no camera there. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the world's bottom line. This is Oh, okay. Strength affects melee weapon damage and the amount you can carry. Dexterity, attack speed, mine. Modify your attributes to choose what you like to specialize in. Beware, below average attributes comes with a penalty. Then I just like do this. I mean, below average, right? So, maybe everything good? Mm, next. Oh, well, I, I only have two points available? Mm. I don't know, is this game like primarily range or... Melee 
everything is 12 hmm. what do you guys think I, I, I don't know lock pick hack I think I'll go with uh, one-handed melee. Ah, a blunt force trauma specialist. I might have a job for you. And probably, probably range. Can I do one more? Oh, I can. Oh, oh, sorry. Hmm. Ah, a blunt force trauma specialist. I might have a job for you. A crack shot. Capital. Not really. Uh... I don't know. It's... Is it melee or range in this game? Uh, I'm. This one is pretty nice. I mean, dialogues, right? It can persuade, lie, and intimidate skills. So I think I'm going to go with one melee and what is this? And dialogue probably. Uh, this one is also nice though. I'm sorry guys, I'm... Ah... Jeez... You know what, I'm just going to go with dialogue. You could make a vicar doubt the law. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the dialogue. Aptitude. No, discriminable aptitude. Select the career aptitude that the character possess. Each aptitude corresponds to a small bonus. Hmm. There's a lot of this aptitude thing. Colony sounded like a nice entry level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanities reached by civilizing 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 the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You, you had the rest of your life decide how to be useful useful in Halcyon. Mmm so can mix a human cocktail shaker bureaucrat mm -hmm. you guys can just read it you can pause and read but I'm going to read it in my mind uh, I'm just gonna power read it in my mind Oh, I can just see the aptitude bonus down there. Uh, corrosion damage, inspiration, medical, plasma damage you see. Science, one-handed melee. 
sub souls chef. One-handed melee. This I'll have to ask you for a good sisty pig recipe. Oh, we can create uh, appearance. A male, of course. Oh, wow. There's a lot of it, right? Oh. Mm. Head. I mean, this is a typical Asian, right? <laughs> uh, let me see, let me see. Hold up, guys, hold up. Would I rather be a typical Asian type or would I be like what I dream to be? Uh, maybe this one. Oh wow, that's too white. That's just pale. Uh, oh, sorry. Maybe this is right. Yeah. Eye color. Oh. Ooh, this is... This looks like a wolf eye. Oh, this is nice. It's just neon. I mean, I like green, so why not, right? Brow horizontal. What is this? Does anything change? Ah, oh, I see the eyebrow. Brow forward. Nah, let's keep it. Eye size. Yeah. Oh, that's too big. Maybe just keep it like this one, just default. And where to go? No size. I think this is okay. Hey. Oh. Hmm. There's 30 hairstyle? Damn. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh. This is like Avengers type thing, right? It's Bucky. Okay. You know when I look it when you look it from this direction, it almost looks like Neymar, right? <laughs> Nice. It's like a Japanese style. Uh, 
I like long hair guys because I have a very long hair so mm, okay okay but the face just doesn't fit in you know you know what I mean uh, this one special hair you know what I'm gonna change the head because I really want this hair because I like long hair But I really like this hair though. But this it does just it just doesn't fit in. Uh man I'm taking way too long. <laughs> this place. You want me with this one? Yeah, I'm just going to go with this one. It's like brrr brownish brownish is that how much you call it okay eyebrow style whoa whoa okay not that one this one That's one good. Facial hair. Let's see. Oh, this one looks like a Wolverine. <laughs> uh, maybe no facial hair. Features. Makeup. What's this? Oh. 41? Oh. Let's just go through it. Do I want makeup though? Maybe just the eyeliner. Dirt. Uh, nah. Scar. Yeah, I love Scar. Mm. I think that's one. This one is good. Age. Oh. Mm. I think this is okay. <laughs> it says on the bottom, customize your character. Don't be shy. <laughs> okay. Uh, is it the name? Mm. Let's go for my usual car. My car. 
All right. Spacer's choice is dying to meet you. Yeah. So this is a summary. Ah. Okay. Okay. That's good. I think I can change the skills later on, right? Maybe. I don't know. Let's just YOLO. Alright, accept. What? Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Oh, thank you. And the music is suspenseful. I think he just kidnapped me. Terra 2. Orbiting laboratory calcium system. Oh! I mean, yeah, I noticed the little lags, but it's bearable, I guess. Is that me at the back? Oh, yeah, it is me inside the pod. Ah, there you are. Oh, no, I'm outside the pod. On, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. Uh, I don't think so. that you and every other colonist on hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! What? So, he didn't kidnap me. He saved me to do his bidding? 60th anniversary of the hope's disappearance. Remember the hope. Hmm. Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. Oh, there's a little moon guy down on the right, right below, below right. Is that how you say it? My God. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Yep, ah, I can hear you. There you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, a smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing, gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... All the colonists are counting on you. Oh, so I'm going to the first planet, is it? To skip all A. Nah, I'm not going to skip. Come on. This is my first time playing this. I just crash land. Honestly, this looks good. I don't know about you guys, but... Oh, you've landed good! 
Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. What? Oh, what? Oh, I don't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? What? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. You don't say. Poor guy. Did I just kill him? <laughs> what the? Okay. Let's walk. Oh wow, this is kind of weird. Can I run? Jump over obstacle. Hey. Oh. Well, hello. Jump. B. Oh yeah, this one. Print L. Crouch to sneak and avoid detection. Really now. What the? What happened to you? Cannibalism? Take all. I'm sorry, dude. Is there something I can take? Is that it? While sneaking you stall grass, rocks or other cover. Oh. I hope I don't die. The awareness meters of an enemy heads tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating. Alerted. Oh, so that's the arrow on top of their heads, huh? What did you do to me, doctor? You scoundrel. Uh, okay. Oh! You have low health. Use the emergency medical inhaler to heal. This one? Ow. Yes. Ah, okay. Oh, got pull up. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. I mean, if I'm really there, I might offer some help. So, yeah, sure. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Really, no. Spacer what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean... What are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. 
crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Uh, maybe you just don't know how to shoot? <laughs> You're hiding in a cave and you block off the exit. You're as good as dead. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with these choices, man? Uh, ah, what's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh eating, law breaking, unemployed lunatics. <laughs> unemployed <laughs> lunatics? Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, with your condition, I doubt it. Oh, you. So I can persuade, lie, or intimidate. I've got a better idea. Give me your gun, and I'll go get help. Yeah, you. He'd probably die. Someone grounded their ship illegally. I'll hunt them down for you. I think that's me, right? I think it's... They're talking about me. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Hmm. I'm more of a persuade guy. So... I'm just gonna persuade yeah, it. Okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here. You can have my saber too for patching me up and all all spacers choice weapons are now 30 percent less likely to malfunction you've tried the best now try the rest spacers choice yes nailed it that time <laughs> yeah of course the game gave me a gun uh and a saber too though do you know anything about the hope yeah I'm, i was thinking about that what is the hope the hope is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. So you don't know, huh? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Well, I just woke up though. I'm off. Oh wow. How do you... How do you change weapons? This is aim. Okay. That's stupid. Turn on motion. <coughs> what about this one? Oh! Okay. Oh sorry. Oh, so that's reload. How do you change? You can have up to 4 weapons equipped at a time by navigating to the weapon Then selecting the weapon slot at the top of the screen On this page you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk or break them down for parts Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on this screen as well Take care of your TNL weapons and they'll take care of your enemies. Hmm, that's a nice slogan. All eight continue. Ah Sentry Saber 73 DPS Damage 36. Ah oh, that's pretty high. Special effect bleed this melee weapon is standard issue to military recruits who are taught sword play before being taught range combat. Coated with spaces choice, patterns never dull finish. This blade stays durable for at least 20 swings. 20 swings? That's it? R. Ah, uh, that looks cool, I guess. Uh. Ah, okay. That's how you do it. Uh, Remit Ballistics will keep your skin intact. 
armor management to wear an armor or helmet item navigate to the item and then select it you can also manage your armor here break them down inspect them compared to other armor tag them as junk or drop them so this is my armor Ooh, that looks weird but okay so this is my inhaler uh, I don't have a lot of things, but yeah. Well, hold up. Oh. I have 101 light ammo? Hmm. Energy ammo. Oh. That, looks, that sounds amazing. Is there anything I could. No, take. Ah, this one. Pick up, make. <coughs> Don't mind if I take this, right? Take this. Okay. There's nothing to take here. Here, nothing. Mm. I'm just looking through if uh, I could take anything else, you know. Do I shoot it? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Boom. Oh, you heard, you heard that, Phineas? Hold up. Uh, let's go to setting first. Um, motion aiming, yeah, this one. I think aiming only. I mean, holding the M button with a range weapon, so it doesn't work for melee. Melee. Hmm. So. Okay, it's kind of rough. I mean, the motion is kind of rough, but yeah, it's doable. Okay, I think. I really want to shoot this one, but... Okay. I really not need to stop doing that. Oh, okay. Oh! Hibernation complications detected. Oh, it's the moon guy. Time a uh, tactical time dilation due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain process time differently. Hmm. Pressing the tactical time dilation (TTD) button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. I mean that's pretty OP. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving in at and attacks drain it faster the TTD meter refreshes slowly over time tactical time dilation so it's this one oh is this one oh, oh okay Headshot! Boom! 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 
Oh shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm, I don't know what is this. Let's just take it all. Hacking locks. Your hacking and lock pick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Mech picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer's encryption. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mech picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Uh, okay. So raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Hold Y, pick. Let us copy this down. Oh shit. You know what? Oh. Did you die? I'm sorry guys. I suck. Yeah, I know. I think I wasted a lot of bullets. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, is that his feet? Oh sh that's scary. Where is his body though? Where's the body? Oh this one. Hot on ship. Okay. I mean, these controls are gonna take a while for me to get used to because I, I'm used to using mouse and keyboards. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Ah, uh, okay. Hello. I don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on That's not me. Leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd totally not me. If it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's just a landing violation, let it go. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, your, your friend. So I heard I found one of your teammates holed up in the cave. Really? How is he? Almost dead. Still a moron. <laughs> I'm hoping you're a little brighter. Uh, yeah, I mean, he'll make it. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Oh yeah, he did told me that uh, helping him would, I don't know, the code or something? Need a couple of wings to catch my breath stretch my legs some mm. 
Your special choice got back down from a challenge. Lie, I bet you could get this model to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Intimidate 5. Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Coward, I'll do it myself. <laughs> Let's persuade, you know? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation... Yeah, yeah. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. And it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Uh, maybe that's not a good idea, because... Oh wow. Yeah, I just kill them every Whoa! Whoa! Family friendly guys. Friendly friend family friendly. Okay. Oh I like this though. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So this one is a light pistol, light pistol, light pistol, sentry saber. So it's the same. Are you telling me it's going to break, right? Yeah, it is going to break the condition. Uh, it's basically still the same. Can be modified in many ways for additional costs. Knockdown. Can I loot this one? Can can it meet? What? Oh, okay. Oh, so they didn't talk about me. About how I killed that person I was supposed to meet. Oh well. You can fast travel to locations you have unlocked by opening your map and selecting your destination. Landing site discovered. Where's my map? Hold up. Oh, this one. So I can fast travel here. Oh, the landing site. Mm, how big is this place? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's kind of big, guys. It's kind of big. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. <laughs> really now? Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. I'm smiling. Yeah. Apex transport. And there's a blood there. Not a good sign. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. No, oh, thank you. Talk. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Immediate destruction? I don't think that's a good idea to respond. Uh... I don't appreciate being talked to that way. Uh, I'm not here to misappropriate anything. Yeah, that's true. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jettison procedures initiated. Uh, in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five. Look at the face. Four, Man, three, let's get this. Shit. One. You realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. 
I have been programmed to express disappointment. Aw, don't be disappointed. Is this Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I mean, you did answer my question though. Your captain arrests me under my escape pod? What? What was supposed to meet? Should I say this one? Oh, uh, I think it's this one. This I one. deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. Well, mm, we did meet, but like on the last second of his life, I guess. <laughs> he meet my escape pod, all right. Head first. Uh, Marauders kill him. I mean, I don't want to lie. Mm, what on state? I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh, I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Where am I supposed to find something like that? Engineering 5. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Uh, this one? Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? What, so this ship's name is Unreliable? Pretty unreliable name, if you ask me. Ah, uh, Captain of the Unreliable. I like it. Knock it off with this Captain Horton nonsense. Captain Horton. But I'm Captain Karmaga. Like, come on, guys. Uh, but yeah, Horton is very nice name, though. Yeah, I don't know. Best I got... of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> okay. Ooh, level two, guys. Level two. You've been promoted. Level up. Congratulations. You have gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, give you points to upgrade your skills, as well as give you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. View ledger. So, you have unlocked perks, go to the character page in your ledger, then select the perk step to buy your first perk. Ah, so this is Anti Cleos. Anti Cleos management training, skills improvement. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend uh, on improving your skills. Spending your skill points on a core skills melee improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of, of 50. After 50, you can add up points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Yeah, we read that before, right? Every skills improve as it grows, but special bone 
special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill descriptions to see what they are. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skills passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skills unlock. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. So yeah, uh, I think I'm going to go with range. Oh no. Uh, Two-handed melee. I do like the dialogue a lot. So, yep. Leadership. Let's make it 14. Defense. 14. Yeah, I think that's that's okay. Anticlear Specialized Management Seminar Selecting Perks Welcome to the Perk Selection. On the screen you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk points to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay such as by accepting a flaw. Acquiring, acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Auntie wants you to be the best to help her be the very best. Hmm. So this is the perks. Uh, toughness. Best health, tactical time, damage when alone in party, walk speed, sprint speed, weapon durability loss, best armor. Oh wow, 100% additional ammo stocks. Mm hmm. <laughs> Tactical time dilation lasts longer. Surely this is normal. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, deadly demonstrations. Mm. But I don't have any companions yet, right? Uh, maybe this one, Strider, or we can put our best halt up, right? Mm. This one is nice, high maintenance. Because armor durability loss is uh, decreased by 25%, which is nice. I can use uh, weapons a lot longer. But um, do I really need it on early game? But I do feel like my walk speed is very slow. So this one is pretty good, I guess. Or we can go for tactical time that tactical time dilation meter max. Uh, can slow the world for like longer. Yeah, I'm gonna go with walk speed. Ah shit. Uh You know what? This one. 
apply. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't save it. So I was doing this one, this one, this one, this one. Did a ship. You know what? Let's go just for dialogue. Apply and accept. Combat dialogue abilities. You have unlocked a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically delibitated. What? Hmm. So this is our main quest. Stranger in a strange land. Phineas needs your help to set things right in Halcyon. But you'll need transportation first. Find a power regulator. So, mm, nearby settlement. So, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Uh, if you like this uh, video, please give a like. Uh, maybe subscribe if you want. And, you know, comment comment things yeah but yeah please comment uh, and interact with me i guess mm. and yeah i'll see you in the next one this is karmaga signing off kopi sanangan stay safe guys see you in the next one Ta -da -da.